Listen, Natalia. You can talk to us. There isn't anything that you can't tell us. I know, but why would you think that Chase is hurting me? Because he isn't a good person. He never has been. And I would know considering that we both had to work for Velma. He isn't like that anymore, Sam. He's better now. I've gone on supply runs with him. He's still the same cocky, quick-to-anger asshole that he's always been. Please. He really does care about me, though. He does. Oh, Natalia. There you are. Come on. It's time to go home now. She's not going anywhere with you, Chase. Why the hell not? She's my girlfriend, Emma. And last I checked, you already have pussy to pet. Get out. You're not welcome in my home. I'm not leaving unless my girlfriend comes with me. She's not your property. She can make her own decisions. And we all know who you truly are, Chase. You're a monster who beats his lover to get his sick kicks. <sighs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Guys, you all need to get out here. What's going on, Chuck? It's an emergency. Someone's been murdered. I found him like this behind one of the houses down the street. He's telling the truth. I was walking with him when we found the body. Jesus Christ. Poor kid got the same treatment as Julius Caesar. Who could have done this? I don't know. We've never had someone mysteriously get killed with no one else around to witness it. We're gonna need someone to look into this. To try to deduce who it was. I can do it. I might not have been a cop, but I took a few law classes in college. And I think I learned enough from those classes. I can help you, Bri. Considering that I was in the police academy when the world fell. You think that you'll be able to handle all of this? Don't worry, we'll get to the bottom of this thing, starting right now. Are you feeling okay, James? You don't feel dizzy or anything? No, I feel fine. Just, my arm still feels like it's on fire, though. It's only been a few days since the accident, but the feeling should fade away eventually. I hope so. It almost feels like my hand is still there. Like I can feel each of my fingers, but then I realize that there's nothing there. I can't say that I understand how that feels. Just see how your body does walking around while I tend to other patients. Let me know if you need anything or have any problems. Will do. Hey there, beautiful. I wasn't sure when I was going to see you again. Well, I'm happy to be here now. With you. Yeah, me too. Are you feeling okay? You look a little pale. I could be doing a little better. I'm pretty scared after they found Darren's body, and I'm worried about where my brother is now, since they still haven't found him. Don't worry about it, Ellie. They'll find Cal sooner or later, and I'm sure that we'll find the murderer and bring him to justice for what he did. I hope so. Just as long as you stay safe. I could say the same thing for you. <laughs> Thanks. So I wanted to ask you if anyone was acting kind of suspicious last night. I didn't notice too much. I've been laying here letting my leg heal for the time being. But what about that Mitch guy that came back with you? He's a little nuts, but he didn't leave here until late last night because we were talking about whatever. Do you have any ideas on who it could possibly be? I wish I could tell you that I had at least some ideas, but honestly I'm just as clueless to this situation as you are. Well, looks like I'll have to keep digging then. I'll leave you to rest for now. I really don't want to be resting, but I really don't have much else to do. Any luck with him? No, he hardly knows anything that's happening right now. You come up with anything? Not really. 
The only people we haven't talked to yet are Sean, Anthony, Miles, Alice, and Lucy. After that, you've kind of reached a dead end. Now that you mention Lucy, I haven't seen her since this morning. Wonder where she could be. I sent Ray out to find her. He should hopefully be able to find her and come back home. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, hey, watch where you're swinging that thing. It almost took my damn head off. How do you know I'd be out here? Oh, you should know. I know you better than anyone. Plus, Liz sent me out to look for you. I've been following you for a while. I just needed to let off some steam given all the bullshit that's been going on back home. If you're wondering, that's why I'm out here. Yeah... There's been a lot of said bullshit being dished out left and right back there. And it's not even that I'm worried about us not figuring all of this out, because I know that we will. I'm just wondering, how many of us have to die before we can figure this all out? <sighs> the thought of losing people you care about is far from a happy thought. But that's why you have to work together and protect one another so that we don't lose the people that we love. Wow. I never took you as being very philosophical, Ray. That was really something. If you say so. Now why don't you come back? They still need people to look for Cal. And I could use a badass young woman with a cool sword to help me with that. I think I'd be interested. Let's head back home and get some gear together and we can get back to searching for him. Yeah, this spot should work. Hey Sam, you think you can help me clear some weeds from the field at the back wall? Some of us were talking about making some crops back there. Sure thing, let me just go grab my gun in case any of the dead come by. Nah, you won't need it. That back wall has been pretty quiet lately. Emma, have you seen Anthony around anywhere? Look, I haven't been concerned about where Anthony is. I've been far more concerned with the Chase and Natalia situation. I know. We'll figure out what to do with that later. But right now we need to figure out who killed Darren. Now, can you please help me? Fine. I think we should check around the back walls to see if maybe he went back there. Please. What happened before wasn't my fault. Drop it. Back off, Brian. You two should just keep walking. What the hell are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm cleansing this community of this trash group that got thrown into the mix courtesy of your brother. You son of a bitch. You're the one that killed Darren. Of course I did. These people clearly have no idea on how to work with others, based on everything else that's been happening here lately. James getting hurt, Cal going missing, it's all because of them. So your solution to this whole thing is this? Killing an innocent man and attempting to kill a child? This child was a part of the people that tried to enslave or kill us nearly a year ago. We can't work with our enemy. What makes anyone think that anyone could possibly do that? What happened to you, Anthony? Remember way back at the hospital when Gavin attempted to kill Emma for what I did? Gary getting killed, Doug going missing? You talked him down. You got the crowd on your side. And now you're here. Now you're in Gavin's shoes, about to do the same thing that he was doing. This is different. Gavin killed Maria and tried to kill Emma for the wrong reasons, not to mention putting my father in danger, leading to him getting killed. And you know, what are the odds that both of these events happen because of you, Brian? Because you're dangerous. You're getting people killed with what you're doing. Me though, I'm saving people with what I'm doing.
I'm... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know you are. Sam, are you okay? Yeah, I... I think so. Make sure that she's okay. Better start spreading the word.